They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. I strike with no warning, no, they don't see it coming. I handle my business, stay the fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak, 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 yeah, I'm on a winning streak. Come down here, Johnny's. Johnny's, come down here. Come, Johnny's, come down here. My full take on this shit is going to be on the rap trap at 9 p.m. Monday. Um, too much to say to say it here. So I'm just going to say, if I tell you to get out of my house and your response is, I ain't going nowhere, you at that very moment confirm that you're a nothing ass bitch. And if you my mama and you're doing everything in your power to ruin me, same go for you. We gonna wait for the cops. We gonna wait for the cops. Fuck up! I ain't touch you. I ain't disrespect you. We gonna wait for the cops since you hit girls today. You gonna go to jail? This is why I'm still here, bro. She didn't touch you. Didn't do shit. She didn't touch you. All I said was, no, I'm gonna go upstairs and beat his whole ass. This is his mother stuff getting thrown out right here. This is how y'all, this is what y'all paying for. This is what y'all paying for right here, blue face. Y'all paying for this. This is this who y'all supporting. This who y'all supporting. Job, come down here, Johnny. You mad if they say hello to you? What the fuck do you mean? Y'all was my girlfriend. This, this, you just a LA nigga for real. It's Why the respect. fuck would we want to get burned? It's called respect. Nigga, I'm gonna be some baggage, so I can hold you. You think you know her? Let's go. We gonna wait for the police to come since you hit girls now. Let's go. We gonna wait for the police to come. First of all, what did I do? I'm getting him off of you, and I get body slammed. If I didn't have anybody chained, he would have choked me and threw me out the house. I'm getting him off of you. Don't touch me so the cops get here. Yeah, you you treat your family. Don't touch me so the cops yeah, get here. What? Seven bitches, you dumb motherfucker. I'm going to break everything in this bitch on top. I'm going to go upstairs and start to shit. You're going to really go fight, you stupid ass bitch. Let's go. Then you're going to really give me a reason for five seconds. Let's go. Give me a reason. What are you now, bitch, I'll give you a reason, dumb bitch. Let's go. You're an idiot. No, we ain't going down there, bitch. We will. This is what Blueface Bleedem does for his two new bitches. That's what he did. He mad because we don't know. We still gonna pray for him. <clears throat> Blueface bleed him, just threw his mother outside. Still gonna pray for you, John. He threw his mother outside. I got these. You let's see. There you go, right there. We gonna still pray for you, He threw his mommy outside. Every time, Tony, your last man, your, your, your he throwing us out because he we don't like his new bitch, Andrea because she don't know how to say hello. So when I see her, she gonna get her ass beat. John, we don't want your bumped out dick, baby. We don't want your bumped out dick. So when you wake up and your dick is bumped out, let me know. So this is my mom. He just threw my mom outside. Don't put me on this is what y'all can see. He didn't move. He's still in the same house. This is the same house. <laughs> this is for Andrea because Jaden Jaden would never. Jaden would never. Jaden would never. Jaden got a little more class. <laughs> Did you get all my stuff out of the room? We came here to visit. We came here to visit. <laughs> And he threw us out because we don't like Andrea. <laughs> I tried to welcome the bitch. I seen I tried to. Y'all looking cute today or what? Yeah.
Oh. <laughs> Y'all looking cute today or what? PSA, these, these ain't my hoes. <laughs> these my girlfriends. Committed relationship. You committed? Yep. You committed? <laughs> Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society. Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Well, I don't know how much time we got on this one, but we're gonna need we're gonna need it. This, this probably gonna be one of them hour longs right here. This is probably one of them hour longs right here. Uh, we got so much to do on this one. So if you can't fuck with it, man, just go ahead and rise. We finna shit, man. We got so much to do on this one. Um, welcome back to the rap trap. I'm mean, actually we ain't even gonna do no intro on this one, cause we got we just need to get straight to it, cause we got a lot to talk about. If you ain't with the nation, you ain't even supposed to be here for real, man. I might, I might need to put this up on the Patreon for real. I might do that as I think about it. Um, I really, I don't know where to start with this shit. Like, this would be one of them things where I need to do like Katrina, man. Like, she didn't already told me, dog. And go ahead and write some shit down. Because I don't want to forget no shit on this motherfucker right here. Um, so I'm gonna start from the back of this shit because this 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 shit stuck out to me so prevalently. The girl said, "Not Jacelyn, not Jay Sean, or some shit like that." And right there, that was a extremely personal deed. In every family, what we have is a unspoken competition between peers um uncles be having that unforeseen you know what i'm saying competition aunties you know what i'm saying it, it, it's, it's with all peer groups so whoever jay jay sean whoever the fuck that is that's this nigga john which is blue face real name so that must be his brother john and jay sean whatever like that I, I, I'm gonna get on this mama, we going everywhere, sister, we, and, and his bitches, and him. We, we gotta go everywhere with this shit. Alright, man, I should've been sitting down for this shit. I've been had to go so crazy. Um, The Jay Sean shit. At this time, when we beefing like this in a domesticated area, ain't nobody supposed to be here but immediate family not just family i'm talking about immediate family brother sister maybe first cousin if they was raised in the same house with us grandma mama daddy you know what i'm saying uncle if he stayed with us and shit like that folks that no house business you know what i'm saying because the whole house gonna know whether or not you know the girl you know has an std or some shit. that's a, that's some shit that we know inside the house the whole family ain't supposed to know that because of the, the 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 third cousin know that shit. That damn near like the whole, you know what I'm saying, the street knowing. So that right there was an extremely personal dig in that she was outside having to pick her shit up off the ground with her mama. And now it's time for her to get some get back. Couldn't be Jay Sean. Couldn't be whatever the fuck name she was saying. Couldn't have been him. He's way more classic, and what they're supposed to do is make you motherfucker. Just I don't give a fuck about that. It's gonna make you go off because you know that by default y'all have been competing since y'all was little. You know what I'm saying? And that shows a lot. It, that that little piece right there says so much to me because of the fact that that's probably the reason 
why he had them over there to prove that, yeah, I'm finally bigger than Jay Sean. Or, or Jay, whatever the fuck. Just Jay, we're going to say Jay. I'm finally bigger than Jay. You know what I'm saying? I can do more for y'all than Jay could. Jay would probably, you know, maybe he's a college student. Maybe he has his own house, good credit, and shit like that. And now Blueface finally comes up because he stole Almighty, um, Almighty Suspect style. I need, I got to do a, a Stupid Rappers episode on Almighty Suspect. That nigga suspect in a motherfucker, but we're going to do that shit too. Remind me if I don't do it in a timely fashion. But Blueface was the one that came up. How crazy is it to find out that Blueface is not a real crip gang? If, what the fuck? That, that, that's too deep. That's too fucking deep. That's too deep. How can I say that he's not a real fucking crip gang member? You know what I'm saying? Like, you might did get beat up by some, you know what I'm saying, some crip gang members and shit like that. Like, does that mean that, you know what I'm saying, that you really authentic and shit like that? Is that all that you have to do to be in that gang? Whatever set that you claim, I would like to know what you have to do during initiation to be on one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the people I respect the most, the most is uh, MS-13. They go crazy with their shit. But to see this whole incident go down and to have all of our um, suspicions confirmed, it's like, God, this nigga in the house with... With fucking, you know what I'm saying? With 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 white boy swimming trunks on, like what the fuck? But that was a real situation though he was going through. So let's get to that now. Went through the Jay Sean situation, and I'm sure that'll come back up during the situation. All right, so we come in, and what we have is the sister. Trying to get upstairs to the girlfriend. The girlfriend is is is. See, I've been. It, it, it hit me so hard because I've been in this situation many times, where you trying to protect your new bitch from you. But usually with me, that's the baby mama old bitch. You know what I'm saying? She coming in to beat the bitch up because that's her way of keeping. She was pretty much. It's pretty much the same thing. Keeping bitches off of the person, the dude, is going to make sure that you have a place to stay. It's going to ensure your position. You know what I'm saying? Um, a nigga has but only so many female slots in his life that are going to be in a home with him. This was simply... Survival. This girl and her mama live wherever the fuck they stay in California. But that place that we saw this whole incident take place was more lavish than the place that they live. So, by any means necessary, they were going to make sure that their position was secured. At that time, it don't matter that um, I'm living off, I'm living in the house with my grown brother, my rap star grown brother, because I'm sure a lot of times, a lot of the time, he's not there. He's doing show here, this here, always moving around. I would have to ask him now, why in the fuck would that be a good idea? That, that is a recipe for disaster. Did you get coaxed into it? Did you not want to do it from the jump? It, he, I don't, it's kind of, you know, it kind of, I don't think that it was that type of situation from the way that he was moving. To see him, first of all, to bring bitches to the house while your mother's there how is that going like how did that make like what the fuck i could never i can't even cuss in front of my mom to this day how is that gonna make sense to have your mother in the house 
that you fuck bitches in. You're in your early 20s. And why the fuck would your mother want to be? And I, it's like, okay, mother fall on hard time. I right, rock out. Well, during that time, I'm going, out of respect for my mother, I'm going to have any situation I'm dealing with, I'm going to have them somewhere else. I'm not even going to have them in that house because these hoes that I'm fucking with is not meeting mama material. So during that time, this is your house, mama. I'm gone. If it came down, but see that that's, I come from a different place. If it came down to where my mama and my sisters, whatever the fuck, because it would have to be a, a fucking a horrible accident for that shit, for that lady who, you know what I'm saying, that stood up through all this time and made sure everybody was good, had to come, it wouldn't be no question. Everything shut down. Everything is fucking shut down until we can build her shit back up from the ground up. But every at this house, hey, look now, nah, um, couple months uh, until we get this thing together. Like, ain't no coming over here. Ain't no nobody coming over here. I don't give a fuck how many niggas is old. It's all that shit is over with. Everything is over with. But this is you can tell this is a whole different dynamic. Was it because? Was it because his mother is a nothing ass bitch? I, I, I don't I don't want to say that because at the end of the day the police weren't called. She threatened that, which if if there's a hostile situation, but see see that's what I'm saying. See it shouldn't hell no hell it shouldn't it shouldn't have went right here. If, if if this is a woman that's worth her salt, my son brings his girlfriend over and she doesn't speak to me or my daughter. Fuck her. Because I'm here trying to get my shit together. Every day that I'm here, I'm trying to get my shit together. This is the mother speaking. I'm trying to get my shit together, get my house rebuilt, and get... There's no way that I have a house. There's no way that a woman worth her salt has a home to go to, goes to someone else's else home, her son's home at that, gets disrespected at said son's home, and then doesn't leave on her own accord. To have a daughter act, react in that manner. Not react from getting punched in the face or a bitch talking crazy to the brother. No. You're a visitor at your brother's home. And now because your, your brother's company doesn't speak to you, at his home? That it is it is on. I don't give a fuck what kind I don't give a motherfuck. I don't give a motherfuck. You don't run shit here. You don't run a motherfucking thing, and that's what I'm trying to tell you, dog. That's what I'm trying to tell you, dog. A lot of the times nowadays, a lot of these children are being sold. To this rap industry, to this rap monster, to this rap trap. Being sold hand and foot, if that's the motherfucking phrase. To the motherfucking industry because they're being promised the same way a football player is being promised by the college coaches that they'll be taken care of if they go to this school. They're being incentivized from the jump. This is why you see mothers and families uh getting up and leaving during during uh during uh uh, uh 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 college picking day or draft day you know what i'm saying nigga you didn't chose to go to alabama but uh florida then promised her a whole new fucking life she blaming you because you didn't pick the best thing for her When it wasn't even her, I was making sure you got to practice out, Mr. Johnny.
You go to your son's house. Your son has made it. He is now a quote unquote millionaire. If we don't even have to say millionaire, he's now rich. And now is the time that we choose to do these things. The reason why, as I think back on it, because I'm trying not to go and, and look at this motherfucking show on the phone, which I might have to momentarily, I think I'm leaning more towards the nothing ass bitch moniker for the mother as I think about what was said. This is what y'all pay for. Throwing his mother out. Hold on. Hold on. The people that are paying blue face are not playing paying blue face because he's a moral guy. They're not paying him because he's a stand up guy. They're paying him because he's a fucking monkey on a string. He's a fucking coon. A coon crip that dances for us. At any, any given fucking time, a nigga will hit a, uh, he'll cut a jig. Any given motherfucking time, he'll cut a jig. And we'll laugh and we'll pay him. Because this is the motherfucking activity and this is the behavior that we want to be perpetuated. We want this shit to continue so everywhere we go, we can throw a dollar down, throw some chains on the street, and everybody will be our fucking entertainers. What dance can you do? Hey, can you do the crit walk? Show sure can, sir. I sure wish I had some skates on so I can dance better for you, sir. Yes, sir. Want me to shine your shoes, sir? As I crit walk, sir? Yes, sir. You sit back and listen to some of the shit that Blueface has said. And then you get on this camera and say, this is what y'all are paying for. Blueface is throwing his mother out. Why the fuck would you, this is still your son. You're trying to tank his career? If, you're, if, you, if you hadn't sold your son into rap industry slavery, he would have been another fucking statistic. He probably would have been, actually he probably would have been living his best life. He would have came out this month during Pride Week. You know, and it ain't no telling what the fuck, but he may have been a fucking statistic. Another uh, nigga in L.A. killed for gang violence. Or another nigga killed by the police. And you're trying to send him back to that because you don't want to go back to the home that you have. Why the fuck? Oh, shit. That's grand great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast Scullers, Scullers go for 10, the Me and Two shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirts go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want, and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200, and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not 
contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do, yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing that. How hey, you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on. Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know this shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. Fuck. When did this shit change? When did it change? To where it's not the mother that provides for the child. It's the child. Why the fuck am I seeing? Why do I know NBA Youngboy Mama, YNW Melly Mama, uh, Kodak, not Kodak, um, XXX Tentation Mama, Blueface Mama. Why do I, why the fuck do I know these people? They're not just on Facebook like I told niggas. The reason why nobody give a fuck about how many views you got on Facebook with your fucking single and shit like that is because your grandma's on Facebook. If it's not on Instagram or YouTube, the shit don't matter. And Instagram is pretty much fake as fuck. So YouTube is the only thing that matters. These motherfuckers have Instagrams. These mothers have Instagrams. Why is that? This mother went live on Instagram. Why is that? When did this thing when when did this thing shift? What happened to the mothers who didn't want to be seen? I don't need a a no no. It's fine. Hey, keep doing your thing. I'll just stay in the background. I'm not I'm not even gonna come to your shows because I don't like your music. You make rap music. You talk about selling dope and fucking hoes. I don't like that music. What mother would? But if that's what you do and you enjoy it, be safe. A real mother will be scared as fuck. Not because she's going to lose. Actually, nowadays, your son dying will help you financially. But just 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 scared because they don't know how to take over their state and shit like that. Mothers used to be scared to lose their sons. Now they're selling them off to the highest fucking bidder. If it ain't football, it's basketball. If it ain't basketball, it's a fucking rap contract. Let's look at this shit one time, y'all. This is my house. So you doing all this streaming in my motherfucking house, dog. I don't got no respect. You doing all this whooping, trying to get the... I don't give a fuck how many hoes I got in this house. Because he supposed to have his baby mama and his girl. I don't give a fuck how I'm living in my shit. And that's what I'm saying on his behalf. What kind of nigga is you? Are you so deep in that competition? That you forget the way you living? What kind of mother do you have? And that's what I'm saying. Maybe you know you had you you got that mama who smoked weed with you. At least you're doing it with me and not with nobody else. There you go. Drink with your son. At least you're doing it with me and nobody else. There you go. I'm not with that shit. I'm not with that shit. I, I'm, I'm gonna be the motherfucker that you do it with. No. No. But you the motherfuckers who don't see dope as a fucking problem because weed ain't dope. And weed's never killed anybody. It just keeps them in fucking limbo until their time is up. It just sucks up all of their fucking potential. Until they're 45 years old and don't know how to function without it. And if they can't function without it, they can't do shit but go to church. All those ideas just went down the fucking drain. Because they just love getting high, just smoking. But that's something else. But this is how I'm living in my house and it goes back to it. You must have thought your mama 
And for your sister, for her to be that fucking volatile, and then you fuck on white hoes, that, that's a whole nother thing, man. Like, like, I, like I told y'all, I didn't gave y'all my whole scoop on white hoes and niggas. I'm telling y'all what it say about a nigga. Um, and the white hoes this nigga got, it's like, hold on, my nigga. And I mean, it, to me, like I said, it say you lame because you don't know how to pick out a certain black girl. So you just think all black girls are robbers. So you don't want to bring them to your house. So you try, and that's my whole issue. That's, that's the only issue I have. So every white bitch is just good. This is all, I'm not, I'm not with that shit. I'm not with that shit. Because you don't know how to look at a black girl and tell if she's ratchet or not because to you, you looking at her through white eyes. So hold on, hold on. You can't be doing all this crip walk shit, but you don't know how to do one of the most basic things, which is pick out a threat. No matter what sex, what race, pick out a fucking threat. And the first ones you learn how to pick out is your race. You don't know how to look at a fucking jack girl and say, nah, she a jacker. Nah, nah, nah. I know she with the shit. You can't, you don't know how to pick out a good black girl? Are you trying to say there's no good black girls? You trying to say that these two white hoes will never do you wrong? I'm to my two white hoes, dog. The baby mama, a fucking white bitch, and the, the girlfriend, a white hoe. To me, they say you lame, so you can't get the black hole to do what you get the, the white hoes to do? Oh, you lame as fuck. Guaranteed you lame as fuck. It ain't one thing, it's a whole lot of things. See what else we got. That's what I can't stand. That's what I can't stand. I do not live in a world of fucking delusion. Bitch. This is the system. I didn't touch you. I didn't disrespect you. First of all, bitch, lower your motherfucking voice in my shit, bitch. I already told you to get the fuck out. I don't even know how the fuck you still here. What kind of fucking I, ladies? I'm speaking to the ladies now. I don't give a fuck who it was. When someone tells you to get out of their home, what are you going to do? At that very fucking moment, you choose whether you are a upstanding black female or you're a nothing ass bitch. I know strong black women that won't even be tolerated, meaning that if you don't want me to be here, I'm not going to be here. They want to be celebrated, not tolerated. So you don't even, if, if your body language say you don't want me here, they out the door. But you got somebody screaming, pleading, please leave my home. I ain't going nowhere. Stepping on my couch. And you telling me you ain't you you didn't disrespect me and you saying you didn't touch me when you trying to get to my hole? This is my shit, so my guests are like my shit. You're trying to fuck with my shit. Acting like I'm not here at the top of the steps trying to walk through me. You're not fucking with her. Get the fuck down the steps. And then here comes mother. Mother says, oh no, come on down here, Jaquinta. Come down here, Jaquinta, which, fuck you. You're a nothing ass bitch. If you name your, if you give your fucking child a hood rat name, you're a nothing ass bitch. Come down here, Jaquinta Center. Come down here, Jaquinta Center, because we're going to wait on the police to get here. We're going to wait on the police to get here since he like to put his hands on women today. Hold on. So first, so first, you tell the people that this is what they're paying for. As to tell them, stop supporting him because he's putting me out. 
Don't worry about what I did. It shouldn't matter. You should never put your mother out. Let me speak to the females out there. Is that true? Should you never put your mother out? This the issue, man. This is the rap trap I'm talking about. Fuck the goddamn, the, 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 the threats outside the door. What about the threats on this side of the door? The motherfuckers on this side of the door that force you to go outside because of the way that they treat you now. Two years ago, motherfuckers didn't even invite you to a family reunion. I'm talking about the whole family go. All them got shirts and everything. And you didn't have no wife and shit like, I know they got me a shirt. I know they're going to say something about it. Don't say shit to you. The day of the fucking family reunion, they just dip. Didn't even leave you a goddamn key to the house. You just outside the house. That's how much they don't give a fuck about you. But now that you on, hey, I want to come down there and stay with you sometime. And all this shit right here, like, hold the fuck on. So I'm just supposed to forget about how y'all treated me like I was less than because I wanted to be a rapper? Given, they were telling him the right shit when they said you need to quit that rapper shit because you're not good at it. They was right. But still, treat him like a human being. Y'all are going to have to learn that just because you feel like I, I did this and I did that good, you can't do a whole bunch of bad to a person and expect good. If there's someone in your life right now that's trying to do something unorthodox, meaning that it's not by the rules, just because you decided I'm just going to fuck my dreams, I'm going to go to work, which is sometimes the most selfless thing that you can do. But don't condemn other people because they didn't give up. If they fail, if, they, if, they're, if they're betting all their coins on something that's going to fail them, that's what it is. The best that I can tell you to do is either be supportive or if it works out for them, just stay the fuck away from them. Because there's nothing worse than a person than seeing the person who is the most discouraging to you come up to you like ain't nothing happened. What up? What up? What I do? What I tell you? What I what what I told you? I told last time I see him, what I told you. He was gonna make it. So did. I'm like you didn't make it, boy. I see him, boy. Look, let me holler at you. You know, goddamn auntie, man, get the fuck out my goddamn face, nigga. Fuck out my face with that auntie shit, my nigga. I ain't, ain't with that shit, dog. But that's that's what it is, though, dog. Like, niggas, like, so do you feel like, dog, all I asked you to do, the most I asked you to do was maybe, hey, man, could you share my shit online? Hey, man, I got a couple flies. You can pass them out for me? But you didn't want to be seen as someone who fucked with me because it wasn't cool to fuck with blue face. Now it is. The, I feel like if you were not there while the cake was being made in that hot oven, don't come around when it, you know, it's glazed and it's iced and all that. Don't come. That's like that's the lowest shit, especially if you're a fucking dude. With a whole eye, you know, that's whole shit, whatever. But for a man, dog, if you weren't supportive of a nigga. Don't come around. Don't come around. Don't do shit. Don't do shit. We pretty much, dog, your bet was that I was going to fail. I did not fail, so that ends everything. If I would have failed, then you could have maybe come pick me up. Well, I told you, man, you should have goddamn got your welding license, man. Told you, dog. Damn, bro. Where you want me to drop you off at? You know what I'm saying? But now that I didn't made it, and you made it visible, and you made it clear that you didn't believe in what I believed in, just don't come around, dog. If you see me, why well, you did it, dog, and just keep on pushing.
But don't never try to act like Dog, and if you want to genuinely come back and be like, dog, I was wrong. You did it, my nigga. I was wrong, dog. I'm, I apologize, my nigga. Not to do that to ask for shit, but just to say, I was wrong, dog. Now it's on me if a couple months down the line I want to get your number or something like that. But every time we talk, you need to be apologizing like, dog, I ain't see it. And maybe give a, a detailed answer on why. You felt like it wasn't going to work or some shit like that. But don't try to come around like that shit never happened. Because it happened and a nigga remember that shit like nothing else. Like nothing fucking else. You just have no idea what that, that, how, that discouraging spirit that you have towards a person that's trying to do something outside the ordinary. How much power that shit has over that person's mind. I encourage everybody to be encouraging to people that are trying to do something. Now, if they, you trying to give them, look, man, maybe you should do this. Here, come with something. Uh, uh, I got you a $100 uh, piece to go to your shit. So you see I'm trying to help. I got you this trying to help. I ain't trying to shit on you, dog. I'm just trying to make it clear what the fuck you mean. Because you don't wait till this time to be like, no, see this the whole thing. No, 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 no. Make it clear as I'm trying to do it. Because see, in our community, that's one of, that's in, a, on, in the human race. That's one of the biggest fucking things. You looking at life as it is right now, as that's how it's going to be forever. You're right here because you didn't mind going to work and kissing ass. You did not mind going to work for someone that you know is not as smart, talented, creative as you are and kissing their ass like they're the best thing since sliced bread. But then you have somebody, I can't do it, man. I, I can't do that. That's how you got your position, dog. You kissed ass. You smiled and laughed with people when shit was not funny. Everybody does not have that fucking talent. Do not misuse your current fucking position in life. Don't mistake it. Is that your permanent position? That is your current position. The only thing constant in life is change. I will be very mindful at who I fucking look down on. So as these things are going on, yeah, you got the job and all that shit like that. And this person down here might be working fast food, but he has a hell of a mind on him. Extremely creative. He doesn't mind going out and, and putting money into what he believes in. He's continuing, consistent, you know, at what he wants to do. It just hasn't popped off yet. But because you hate your life. You have to continuously, continuously look down on him. Let, uh, do it do it publicly. Look down on him. Talk about him. Because he hasn't got his opportunity yet. But oh Lord. Once that opportunity came, he rose. Then it wasn't so easy for you to kiss ass. So you failed. And you know what's so crazy? Because this person was so focused on succeeding and they didn't have hate. And that's the reason why they succeeded because they didn't have hate in their heart. They see you down. They'll privately come and try to lift you up. That shit's so crazy, dog, because everybody don't have that spirit in them, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own way. Of, of, you know what I'm saying, getting back at their haters, I think that's the best way to do it, is to show them love. You know what I'm saying? Show them love. Now, you don't have to consistently do it, but show them love. If they're in a light view, light gets cut off. Privately, not for Instagram, not for no show. Do your thing. That shit gonna fuck them up so bad, like, because they know. 
that they actually were trying to hurt you. And that's going to be on them whether or not they can come and say, look, man, I apologize, man. I, I, had, I had the shit all fucked up. I, like a man. But motherfuckers can't do that shit, man, because more, it just, it's just crazy. But this, is, this, is, this dynamic is going on in a lot of families. There are going to be a lot of other artists that come up and win. And they're probably going through these things right now at this moment. And it's difficult while you're in the situation when you down and because no one sees it in you no one is looking at you to succeed no one is looking at you to win I tell y'all it's a nigga named king jims from a little town in virginia and this nigga has real fucking music and it's a lot of artists like this but this nigga got real fucking music but just has not been discovered yet you know what i'm saying and he and i talked I, I talked to a lot of artists a lot of people who people do not know about yet now i give them you know stay consistent give them a little shit if they go to my youtube classes i you know give them all the shit they need but he let me know like how you know people try to sort them out and and you know motherfuckers watch from afar they don't support you can be online smoking a blunt and you'll get 60 likes but you post some shit about something that you achieved inside of music you might not get no fucking likes and i encourage y'all go fuck with the nigga king jim because like i told him the only thing you need is for the people you need for people outside of y'all city to see what you have because if they saw what you had right now, you would have been out this motherfucker. But because it's so hard to be visible nowadays because we got so many trash artists out this motherfucker, it's rough. So it is going to take a little bit longer. It's going to take more money too. And that's when it comes like, how much do you want this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like this is not no easy game right now. This rap shit, this being successful, period, is not fucking easy. And then on top of that shit, you got these type of situations that happen even afterwards. Like I told y'all, getting seen isn't the hardest part. Maintaining people's attention will be the hardest thing that you ever fucking do. Lil Nas X, he had to come out as he's gay to keep his career rolling. This is how serious this shit is. But let's go deep into this shit. Um... It was another part that I wanted y'all to... So now the sister's trying to tell her brother, you think you know her? Uh, Cause he told her that's my girlfriend and shit like that. And she like, and the sister like, it's about respect. No bitch. The bitch had to respect me, not you. Even though, even though, to be honest, to be honest, but like I said, it had to be something that he gave off that she wasn't to be respected. Because if there's a woman in my house and my girl come over, she gonna speak. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it was disrespectful, but it was on her to be disrespectful, and it was on him to either stand up for you or for them. And that's another thing about this shit, Blueface. You better hope that these black women don't get on your head and fucking boycott you and destroy your whole fucking career, because these motherfuckers will get you knocked off Spotify, all kind of shit. You better hope that these motherfuckers don't try to press charges on you. But see, if you get that, though, It'll be all on you because you, like every one of these other motherfuckers, had a choice and had a chance, an opportunity to support the Men Too movement. But you didn't feel like it was important. So if your career is destroyed over this shit because they put charges up, oh, um, Blueface doesn't even care about his mother, his sister, or any black woman, and then has the nerve to uphold some white hoes, he's canceled. Please don't think that that's far-fetched. 
By the time I put this video out, your ass might be canceled. Charges on your head. Because this all they need. All they need is a, they don't fuck a fuck goddamn police call. Fuck all that shit. Fuck a victim. All they need is a video that looks like. And you know it's gonna be crazy. Your white baby mama gonna put you on child support. And your other girlfriend gonna be mad that she ain't get no baby out the deal because she was trying to put your ass on child support too. Y'all niggas better understand all this girlfriend shit. Dog, these hoes is trying to get children. Better look at Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid got hit with 11000 a month child support. The bitch don't want you. She want the money for herself. They look at Amber Rose, Black China, etc., etc. That's how you boss. That's, that's their ideal of bossing up. You boss up through children. You boss up through the babies. The children are the checks. Bossing up through babies, children, checks. Boss baby, children, chicks. It works. That's their idols. That's why they fuck with rappers and not niggas who can actually give them a relationship. You're an artist. There's no way that you can give them a relationship. All you can give them is clout. Money. Stardom. We should have learned this from Karuchi and I thought that I, I I need to get my opinion on that whole situation, but like I said, Chris Brown still hasn't got back at me, nor has Chief Keith gotten back at me about any me and two situations. So I don't see why I would put myself out there and even try to help these motherfuckers when they these are the I'm talking about do private channels. You don't even gotta you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta put your name on it, it's all good. Through a private channel you can show love. Nothing. Nothing. So fuck them niggas. And as far as you go, my nigga, first off, nigga want to do out this rap shit any fucking way, but I don't, I don't want a nigga to leave this way. Not this way. I wanted the rap community to wake up like, dog, we can't do this, this shit. No, dog, this, we falling too far. We falling too fucking far. I salute Wack 100 for making his money. You know, an old nigga coming back saying, all right, that's what they want. I can go find that. All good. I got the connections. And using this shit, I got to salute that shit. But as far as music, like, it, come on, my nigga. No, 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 no. On the gang. And I hate niggas using this gang shit. Though. I just hate that shit because it, it don't mean that. That's not what it's about. But at the end of the day, we saw so many things in this video but what it really was, and the only question that needs to be answered is, why the fuck were they there? Why were they there? He's kicking us out. No, we ain't leaving. How are you not going to leave? I threw your shit outside. You going to stay here after I threw your shit outside? Oh, so you desperate, desperate. Like, you, you really ain't got, oh, uh, like... That shit just, it looked horrible, and I just really want to see what happens next. I really do want to see what happens next. And the mama said, don't touch me till the cops get here. It's so sad, dog. Like, you, I guess, like, maybe I'm just high and mighty on some shit, whatever, but it's like, dog, come on, my nigga. Like, this is a mother. This is a mother. You're going to, first of all, try to end your son's career by recording this shit. Secondly, end his career by saying, this is what y'all paid for. This is what y'all support. Someone who kicks his mother out. It, what kind of mother? You can't just say mother because your mother can be a crackhead, a prostitute, horrible mother, abusive, pedophile, molester. The word mother is not synonymous with fucking saint. Perfection, you know what I'm saying? Actually, kind of, I'm not getting to that. What kind of mother? Oh, and that's, that's another thing that I want to change. So many times we, we hear the word father and think deadbeat. We hear mother and think perfect parent. And that's how we're getting so many dead kids. But
There's no reason why after telling your mother to leave that she should say she should feel in your home in your home this is and if you can't understand this this is because you're still a child once you become grown you understand my house is my sanctuary this is what i run the way i want to run it if i couldn't run it how i wanted to run it i would be staying with someone else but because this is my home and I run it how I want to run it, before I get disrespectful with you, I'll tell you, hey, we'll do this another time. I'd like for you to leave. It should be no more. Because this is this is the same mother. This I, I guarantee you that this lady would say to her son or daughter, if she would ask, hey, blue face mama, hey, um, if someone told your son or your daughter to get out of their house what do you want them to do oh they're gonna get out immediately this is my issue because i'm sure she acts like she's just an upstanding dog and i and, and just wait till you hear her fucking response why she gonna have a whole interview the sister gonna have a whole interview they're gonna start their whole career off this shit and and all the all the nothing ass bitches are gonna champion them. Ah, oh, and oh girl, you did what I would've did, girl. Uh-huh, sure woulda. Yeah, get them bitches, them whole thing, they better they called you a nigga and he stood for that. Ah It's gonna be a whole fucking story. But at the end of the day what we learn from this shit is the rap trap is just not the things that happen when you walk outside of your home, but also the things some of the reasons why you might wanna leave the house. It comes from every angle. This is why this shit is such a trap because there's nowhere that you can go. Nowhere. Not to a girl, not to your mother, not to your sister. Nowhere. Not nowadays. Y'all watch out for part two. I'm sure I can't get all this shit out. It's too much. Blueface is not no real nigga. Not because he kicked his mom out and shit like that, but just because, you know what I'm saying, the nigga will fucking white boy shorts and fucking white hoes and he can't rap and he's not really a crib. You know what I'm saying? Just that type of shit. But uh, make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you hit the cash app. We're rocking out. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.